In 1985, at the height of the Israeli-Lebanese conflict, a small group of Lebanese tanks swiftly advanced into Israeli territory to strike a crucial enemy post. It was a straightforward operation in which the target's position was only defended by infantry troops and two Israeli Magach tanks. Yet, even as the Lebanese tanks were still more than 20 miles away, a sudden barrage of anti-tank guided missiles obliterated them on the spot. No missile carrier was ever identified, and the source of the abrupt attack remained a mystery. In fact, the missiles came from the Para, a powerful guided missile carrier disguised as a run-of-the-mill Israeli Army Magach 5 tank that can destroy armored vehicles from a long range while remaining virtually undetected. The deceptive war vehicle has proved to be highly effective, and it has helped Israel defend its interests for over 25 years. It has been of such value and importance that its existence was kept top secret for nearly three decades, with military intelligence doing everything in its power to censure every attempt to reveal the nature of the vehicle. However, the para was declassified by the Israeli government in 2015. After decades and obscurity, the details of this groundbreaking covert vehicle were finally revealed. Disguising a Missile Carrier In any modern warfare situation, artillery and missile systems must be neutralized as a priority because their long range and remarkable firepower can eliminate enemy forces before they can get close. As the Israeli military struggled to protect its territory from increasingly significant numbers of hostile agents, missile systems became a perfect solution to successfully multiply their firepower. However, the fear that their missile carriers would become an easy target for enemy surprise attacks soon became a significant concern. To address the issue, military engineers developed a missile carrier system disguised as one of the most typical Israeli tanks of the time in an effort to dissuade enemy forces from identifying and targeting their missile carriers. The word para comes from the Hebrew meaning wild man or wild donkey. However, it is not the weapon's official name, but rather a nickname bestowed by the Israeli military. The vehicle was developed as early as 1981 by the Israeli defense technology company Rafael Advanced Defense Systems after the Yom Kippur War, when Israel seemed at risk of being overrun by Egyptian armored vehicles. To respond to the armored threat, the Israeli military requested the development of an anti-tank guided missile carrier with exemplary mobility and the ability to remain undetected. The solution was to use the outer shell of an American M60 Patton tank, also known as Magach 5 in the Israeli military, and fit them with a hidden missile system that utilized the groundbreaking super-precise Tammuz missiles. The state-of-the-art missiles allowed accurate strikes in urban areas, significantly diminishing collateral damage and increasing mission success rates. Similar to the Para, the Tammuz was developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems during the late 1970s, and they became an essential part of the Israeli military, going back to the early 1980s. Design After deployment, the Para greatly benefited from Israel's experience during the First Lebanon War, when operational doctrine evolved thanks to increased understanding of the system also used against Syrian T-72 tanks. Thus, the Para was fitted with a new modified turret housing an anti-tank missile launcher and other related targeting systems. Externally, it resembles a typical Israeli tank turret, and it even has a fake main gun that helps sell the deceit. Vehicle operators are located in the forward part of the turret. In contrast, the rear section is used for missile storage and support systems. The back panel of the turret can be removed to access the missiles, which are loaded manually by the crew, and the vehicle carries a payload of 12 anti-tank missiles. This anti-tank missile carrier was deliberately designed and developed to resemble a typical Israeli main battle tank to conceal its actual role and drastically improve its survivability on the battlefield, as such a vehicle would instantly become a priority target for enemy forces. In addition, it was eventually updated to modernize its guided missile systems, along with its non-disguised sister vehicle, the M113 armored personnel carriers known as Hafiz. The system evolved into a more prominent family of electro-optical weapons called Spike, and in 2009, Raphael introduced the Spike NLOS, or non-line of sight, considered an advanced iteration of the Tammuz. Like other electro-optical guided weapons in the Israeli arsenal, Tammuz can be independently driven with so-called man-in-the-loop control, 
allowing maximum control and flexibility through the engagement. Also, the missile works in both day and night, and under limited visibility. The benefit of the electro-optical targeting and guidance system is the ability of the weapon to acquire the target while in flight, based on partial targeting information. The operator can obtain the desired target as it becomes visible on the missile seeker and as it approaches the target area. Such improvement to the missile systems allowed the Para to continue serving the Israeli military for many additional years, extending its operational life by at least a decade. Service and Secrecy For over three decades, data on the anti-tank missile carrier and its missiles was kept top secret, despite its highly frequent usage by the Israeli military. The Para has participated in every major conflict involving the Israeli Defense Force during the last 25 years, including the Lebanon War and the Gaza War. The mass unit became crucial for the protection of Israel, and it was deployed for sensitive operations where conventional non-disguised missile carriers weren't under too much risk. The Para was astonishingly kept secret during its long decades of service, despite numerous leaks surfacing in recent years, as the Israeli government dedicated significant resources to censure, mislead, and cover any attempts to reveal the true nature of the vehicle. Nevertheless, with the increasing accessibility of the internet and the evolution of camera equipment, keeping the missile carrier secret was becoming more complex and costly. Furthermore, the tank the missile carrier was made to imitate was quickly becoming obsolete, and soon the deceit would become ineffective. In 2013, a pair of Perez were photographed for the first time in the Golan Heights near the Syrian border. The images received a lot of attention on military forums, where the weapon was mistakenly referred to as MAGH-8 or MH Spike. Later, the Pera was photographed in the Golan Heights and during Operation Aitan in 2014. Every time footage of the missile carrier emerged, it was covered up under an order of military censorship due to its classified status. Then, in 2015, the media exposure the Pera had had, as well as the public interest it ignited, convinced the Israeli military to revoke its classified status. Following the official unveiling, many media outlets around the world were able to freely publish numerous photos of the Pera in action and show its missile launching capabilities. Still, many of the details surrounding the weapon remain hidden, and it is unknown how many units were built or the specific data on the missions they carried out. The Pera continued to serve the Israeli army until 2017, when it was finally decommissioned and withdrawn from active service. It is unknown if Israel plans to build a similar missile carrier inside the hull of a more updated tank, but many sources have suggested that as a possibility. Thank you for watching my video. Do you think there might be other experimental weapons disguised as something else in active service? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the Dark Tech channel, as well as all the others in the Dark Documentaries family. Stay tuned.